All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. And now we're going to talk about the Wireshark Masterclass lesson number nine on how to extract files from PCAPs. This is a very important skill to learn, especially in where cybersecurity or if we're doing a CTF somewhere and we need to be able to pull that traffic out in order to further analyze a file. So stick around. Again, welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's great to have you here with me. And let's go ahead and have you download the accompanying PCAP that goes along with this video. You can find it in the description down below. So in this video, we're gonna learn how to extract traffic from Wireshark. As you can see in this trace file, let's go ahead and open it up together. As we can see, it's just a very simple trace file, only 24 packets here. What I'd like to show you is how we can actually extract and reassemble traffic from Wireshark using some of these Wireshark features. Okay, so here we have a DNS conversation that just happened. And then we have a three-way handshake. And then we start to see some HTTP get. Good old fashioned HTTP. I actually kind of miss it because it was really nice to be able to see so much in clear text and be able to do this type of file extraction. Now, especially when we're doing cybersecurity exercises, if we're on a CTF, or if we're just finding some interesting things running around our own network, being able to extract files is an important thing to learn how to do. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Actually, with this file down here, here we can see the client is going to the server and saying get images packet pioneer logo okay so a few things that we need to make sure that we have in place before we extract this logo actually want to pull this png out of the trace file and actually take a look at what this looks like and before we do that first let's go ahead and go down to our detail view i'm going to come down to tcp and what i want to be extra sure that i have enabled i'm going to right click this I'm going to go to protocol preferences and I want to make sure that I have this checked. Allow subdissector to reassemble TCP streams. So what this means is that the subdissector for TCP, it's going to reassemble uh, these as if they were one. Otherwise, it treats a TCP stream one packet at a time and doesn't necessarily correlate them and put all of that data together. So this is a default setting, but just in case you had it unchecked, I wanted to first take you here to make sure that you have this active. All right. So. We have that. Now the first place to start when you're extracting files from a PCAP would be under file and let's go ahead and go down to export objects. Okay, and we have five types of objects that Wireshark is able to do by default. So we can extract DICOM, HTTP, uh, mail, SMB, TFTP files. Okay, so that's just at a high level, uh, a quick list for you. If we can go ahead and go to HTTP because this is an HTTP based trace file. Here I can see I have two objects that Wireshark was able to find and reassemble for me. And now they're right there and I can take action with them. So this is what we're gonna do. Go ahead and click that second one. And I'd just like you to hit save. And from here, pick a place on your machine. I'm just gonna throw this right there on the desktop just for fun. So I hit save there. And now I'm just gonna go back to, I'm just gonna close this out, going to come over here to my desktop. And sure enough, I have that file there waiting for me. So now this image was actually extracted from the PCAP. Now we can do this with a lot of different types of files. We can do it with executables, binaries, be careful, especially if you're dealing with malware, you wanna be careful to not execute those files on the system because it could be that they're infected, okay? So this is one way that we can extract these file sets. Now, if I'm not able to successfully export an object from using the file export objects feature of Wireshark, one other place that I'll look, I'll show you how to do this, go ahead and do a right click on that get images and let's go ahead and go to follow tcp stream and this is where when you're dealing with clear text protocols or protocols where they're not encrypting the payloads uh, this is where you can actually see the data that comprises the file so in some cases you might need to save the data from here or maybe even show data as raw or uh, save it save as in some way uh, but this puts all those packet bytes together so you might want to head check this if you're looking at an executable or another type of file that you want to be able to pull from the pcap so there's a lot of examples that we could talk about but i just quickly wanted to show you how to do this when you're dealing with unencrypted protocols in wireshark Thanks for stopping by the channel and I'll see you on another video.